Only increasing my knowledge, simply increasing the number of meaningless values, simply desiring only information from the television's television screen. Eventually, reality grew faded, turned hollow. Oh, okay, so this is Satsumi describing like, oh. Oh, okay, map is cool, yeah. Cars and trains, things that would take me places. I like them. Spreading maps upon the narrow bed. Connecting route after route. <laughs> route after route. Connecting. Connecting? Connecting. Uh, sedans, coupes, convertibles. I also rode on many different kinds of cars. Ah, you're a car fanatic, sets me. Okay. The ever continuing route one, ra I ran all the way to the distant end of it. Did you know? Indigo blue sky, beautiful shoreline. I ran all the way to the places painted in my dreams. Gently going around the curve traced by a cape, under the burning sunlight, dashing on a brilliant white beach. If I just closed my eyes, I could go anywhere. Scenery that I had never seen before would float before me as I thought about lands that I would never be able to go. Alright. You did? Alright. Okay, so it's sort of like you just learned a bunch of stuff in books, alright? A sky where the rain, rain, rain had let up. Fall, flowing by an amazing speed, high, high clouds. From the ground, the still damp asphalt gave a distinctive sha noise. Are we supposed to be in a car right now? <laughs> like what? Within all that, as always, we continue driving on. Without destination, simply just driving on. Man, it's, we must have had full gas on like the car, so that's lucky. It wasn't like we were headed to the Awajishima that we had spoke about last night. For one thing, as a problem before that, we probably didn't have the gasoline money. While pondering about that, I continued driving straight along the unknown road. But where was this, I wonder? Suddenly, I wound up thinking about it. I wasn't all that good with the good geography to begin with, but all the place names were ones I've never seen before. I had been driving fairly carefully, but with the navigation system dead, I knew even less. So he's just literally driving around, okay. Before I knew, I was peering at the signs in the area while I drove. Hmm, I don't really know. <laughs> okay, so to me, I like don't know where I'm going, so we're just kind of driving aimlessly. Hmm, no, I was just wondering where this is. The girl spoke to me when I looked around and I gave a simple reply. Well, most likely, even if I asked her, she wouldn't have known. <laughs> Satsumi, are we like in Osaka, Hokkaido? <laughs> oh, oh, does she like know all this, all the areas and stuff? Interesting. Eh. Oh my gosh, like Satsumi. <laughs> Satsumi is like literally our own GPS right now. You know. Did you live here before? That was a surprise. No, instead of surprising, why she knew so much was mysterious. No, no matter how you looked at it, she didn't seem like the type to get in a car and go around. No, I mean like, you're just judging a book based off its cover protagonist that I still don't remember the name of. Then maybe. From here to that place, Awajishima, you know the way? Um, well, you see, without getting on the expressway, we might be able to get there using only the smaller roads, right? Look, the gasoline cost. Our money might be enough after all. Oh my gosh, are we gonna go to Awajishima to die? Let's go! Do you- Oh. Are you asking me or am I asking you? Ah, no, it's not like I meant that, but... <sighs> With those final words, the girl once again fell silent. In her usual cold way, she remained staring out the window. I had the feeling that what those eyes were looking at was not the scenery flowing by before her, but a much farther place. She's looking at Awajishima, obviously! Those words are from before. Don't ask. Just what did they mean, I wonder? If I had the answer that I planned on going, which, what would she have answered? She would have been like, okay, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Without destination, we simply traveled. From the start, we hadn't any plans or schedules. Simply, we had just hated both the seventh floor and our shallow homes. But for me, at least just for me, it didn't matter what. I probably wanted to give. I probably wanted something to give me direction. Well, yeah. I mean, because then you're just wasting gas. Okay, <laughs> it's literally like the. Is it the same day or it didn't move like a day? Okay. Splash crash. Splash crash. Ah, it's cold, isn't it? Some beach I didn't know the name of, but I noticed we were headed out toward the sea. 
I had intended to head west, but it seemed at some point I wound up heading south. <laughs> Phew! Okay. The beach with a pitch black sky and strong cold wind. The two of us left the car and stood gazing at the dark sea. As always, the girl looked far away with downcast air at where the black sky and sea merged at the horizon. And then, after watching the sea for a while, slowly she began walking to the water's edge. And I don't understand the meaning of your question. Well, okay, I mean, if we walked into the water, Satsumi, we'd probably drown. Mm, probably not. Drowning's, like, not very fun, Satsumi. Her back was still turned to me. Words as she continued walking to the water's edge. The third time was the last. There was no fourth. Probably it would come- it would become to picking between the seventh floor and home. It seemed no one had escaped that. Those were words that- <laughs> Those were words that girl had once passed to me. And she was on her second, and had said that she wanted neither home nor the seventh floor. Already, this was after she had passed it to me. Already, her task was over. That was why I figured it meant that. Who knows, I've never drowned before. Yeah, exactly, you're kind of la laid it on thick, because I feel like Satsumi's asking, uh... Here we're going to see. I feel like you're just asking Nata's question for Satsumi. Uh, yeah. No one, no one wants to dr drown in like a... Like, pool. Pool. Ocean. While speaking, she turned around and looked at my face, placing the moon floating in the pitch black sky to her back. The gaze was... That, uh, the gaze was always looking at some faraway place was looking straight at- Wait, what the f- The gaze that was always looking at some faraway place was looking straight at me. Alright. I don't know. Not until that time. And then, turning her back to me and once again facing the sea, she slowly took a step forward. Hey, you. Is that- Is it that you want me to stop you? In my words, the girl stopped just for a few seconds before the breaking waves. The strong wind misted up on the spray from the waves, striking her feet. If you want me to stop you, I'll stop you. I know, isn't the kind of thing where it's like, no, I don't want you to stop me, but like, that'd be so cool if you did. Like, isn't that kind of thing? Then I don't have to stop you, right? Oh, come on, no, we gotta fulfill the prophecy. I need her to die in a patch of narcissus or da daffodils. For that question, there was no reply either. However, the feet that stopped did not go further. That was why I thought that was her reply. I mean, I guess. Alright. 